Jono Anderson rocking the old uh, trucker tan there. Let's we'll get that factor 50 on next time. And we move to the boxing portion of our card here at Extreme Combat and Budo. That's Apollo making his way to the game. And now we are talking a bit of Metallica for whom the bell tolls. And Evan Sally is absolutely pumped. The local boy with a lot of support here. Most impressive set of sideburns we've seen all night as well. with white trim. Jono Anderson in the black with green trim. Three two-minute rounds of boxing, Queensbury rules. Our first boxing contest of the evening. And Jamie, the local boy, Evan Salahi, came out to rapturous applause, and you know he's going to have the crowd behind him. And that in itself can sometimes be like having a second man in the cage with you. Oh, he can. Good body shot there with that right. Work on that jab really nicely here. Trying to drive through the jab and then put that right body body shot in. Oh, we got Ooh, nice shot with well. the left hook. Good defensive work early from Anderson, and he's letting Evan know here not to get too cautious. With that big right haymaker, though. You know, Evan came out very very pumped, Jamie. He was running to the cage, jumping up and down. Of course, acknowledging the fans here in attendance and a local man from Baron Furness himself. He's got to be careful, though, not to let the occasion get to him. Yeah, and that's it. And at the minute, he's working on the jab really nicely. He's throwing that right hand with it. A good body shot. It's good work. The much better box of the two so far. This is looking very nice. He's picking his shots, but John o Anderson, he's, he's blocking a lot of these as well. Oh, and he, he caught him there with a, a nice little right hook, I believe. And the danger, of course, is Evan punching himself out early. Yeah, I think he, but he's working on the jab quite nicely. Which, you know, for, oh, that's a big shot to the head. That's a good shot, but pushing back now, putting it in again, and then he's going to maybe go to the body now. Work that body, body, head, potentially. I mean, this is clearly not John Anderson's first rodeo. He's, he's clearly boxed before. He's clearly got the fundamentals down, especially defensively. Yeah, he's got his hands quite low now. I think he's got quite confident in this fight, but... There's a nice right hand. Took a few on the chin here, though. But, but again, I don't want to see Salehi punch himself out early here. He seems to be getting very confident when he lands a shot. and The follow-ups aren't always connecting, but he's piling on the pressure here. Yeah, he's putting the body shots in, which is always going to cause the, the issues in the later rounds. Uh, oh, I caught one on the chin there, though. But Salehi's still moving forward. Big shot from Salehi to end that round. and. I mean, even though this John, guy's pumped. He's, uh, John O'Hanus has not done much, however, uh, has took a lot of abuse there in that first round and not really, not even reacted to it. Like, he seemed to just take it I on think, the chin. I th <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think he's very confident that he can take the majority of shots that are getting landed here. And he's done good work with a nice high guard to take them. You know, he looks to be in, uh, in relatively good shape. You know, the, the body shots don't seem to be taking too much out of him. Uh, but all the offensive work really has come from Evan Salehi. Yeah, Leo Donnell in the corner there as well. Good boxer himself on later tonight. In fact, on next, I believe. 
That's dedication, man. If you're, uh, yeah, cornering and, and, and uh, he doesn't even need to go to the back. He can just stay in the coach. I'm sure he'll want his walk out himself, knowing Lee very well. He definitely enjoys the moment, as does his guy in the corner, in, in, the, uh, in the fight himself now, Salih. Touch of gloves, and we're underway for the second round. It's a jab to start things off from Anderson, but he's already getting chased around the cage. Yeah, he's reaching that jab a little bit too much, rather than sort of throwing it to set something up. And he's closing the distance too much on himself a little bit. That's why he got caught then on the way in. He's trying to push off on the jab. Good Boy. one. Hands landing from Evan here. Dig into the body. Nah, he's just not affecting uh, John Anderson, is it, at all? It's not, but, you know, unfortunately, if, if Jono doesn't do something back himself, if he doesn't start racking up points, he, you know, he may not be getting knocked out here, but he's oh. certainly getting outpointed. He's massively getting outpointed, you're right, Brad, and, uh, and he's not done enough on the on the offensive side. However... Oh, he nice got a body shot there. Yeah, nice body shot, but a, a big right hand as well, as, as uh, Salih got a little bit cocky there. Uh, and, you know, it's... Uh, Often an unkind way of looking at things, but but just to look at Evans Lee, you wouldn't think he'd be able to throw all these shots and have cardio for days. But yeah, he's, he's, he's in good shape here. He doesn't seem to be tired at all. You know, we've seen the likes over the years of good boxers at the heavyweight division that can throw these kind of kind of strikes. I mean, he's not quite a heavyweight, but got caught again on the chin. Salay there. Yeah, the, the problem is that John Anderson might not be stopping him with those little shots, but someone else might, so he needs to, oh. get, out. He needs to get out of these bad habits. You say that's a, I think it's a, it's a low, low yeah, blow there. Uh, yeah, just below the belt there. Purely accidental, I'm sure. You know, it's all well and good being able to take one on the chin, but ultimately you will run into the guy that you can't take one on the chin off, so best to get out of these habits early. You know, offensively, you can't really fought Evan Soleil here, but... I'd like to see him just be a little bit careful with those uh, those cheeky counters that John Anderson's been able to get through. Quick uh, words of advice there from referee Simon Stadnicki. Ready to go again as well. In the second round here. Salih putting it on. Again, Salih. Charging forwards, trying to punch around the guard. Anderson just, just sort of covering up now. Just taking it. Nearly punched a mouthpiece of Salehi out though there, did Anderson. <laughs> the thing is with Anderson, he's one of those sort of tricky boxers that will, will stay in there, won't get hit too often, won't get hurt too often. So you've really got to open him up and open him up by letting him come at you and, and sort of countering him a little bit. Because at the minute, he, he's, he's very, I mean, this, this is two rounds to, to zero for me for Saleh. Uh, Anderson very static, however, absorbing the shots and, and doing a great job of it. You know, we, we talk about journeyman in combat sports and obviously it means something very different in boxing to what it means in MMA. A, a, a journeyman boxer, it's a noble trade and you find these guys are, are very good defensive boxers because of course they get knocked out every weekend, they can't fight <laughs> yeah, they, for a long time afterwards. So you tend to find they're very technically astute defensively and you know, it's part of the trade. They're not necessarily going out there to make big runs at titles, they're going out there as opponent boxers against these young prospects. and. You know, that's what John, John Anderson's doing very well here. But he's still been able to catch his man with a series of solid shots. It's uh, Soleil here, here with this, the same energy he had at the start of the fight, which is brilliant to see. Comes his third round. Well, let's see if uh, Anderson tries to open up a little bit here in the third. Soleil is taking a couple of shots here, but he's shrugging them off. And Big body shot there as well, though, from Jono. Another nice shot there from Jono Anderson. Nice slip part of the way. A nice, again. This is moving really about well now. The, uh, the movement and the defensive skills. I'd just like to see a little bit more of the reactive side, rather than just sitting and taking the shots and moving well. I want to see the reaction and, and, and some shots back from Jono. To fair, Soleil's clearly got a chin on him as well. Yeah, he's bullied his man around the around the cage here too. 
And of course, the interesting thing about cage boxing is you, you've not got the, the tight angles in the corners to trap a man. Yeah. So, uh, so like he's had to chase his man quite a lot. It, it, this is one thing I, I find the difference in training when you train with boxers uh, in, in the uh, ring rather than a cage. It's like cutting off a ring in a cage. It's, it's totally two totally different things. Uh, cutting a, a ring off is, is quite easy to do into the corner. A, a cage, though, you've got eight sides to it, and they're going to keep moving, and, and, and they're going to move the way around that cage. And you're seeing that at the minute with Jono, he's, he's finding it quite easy to just move around. Taking a lot of shots to the body, though. The referee will break them as we uh, approach the end of this third and final round. So there he's still looking to get these combinations in, but he's, he's looking to, to get in close and, and perhaps hold a little bit more here as Salehi. Trying to tee up big shots rather than launch combinations. Now he's going to try and get some off. I'd like to see a little bit more sort of mixture between the body and the head shots. He, he seems to go for one or the other. Jono trying to get some space to finish strong here. Going to the body as Soleil holds on. And uh, a little bit of unnecessary afters there from Soleil. And uh, yeah, Soleil not, uh, not particularly happy for some reason there. I'm not really sure why. It's uh, a solid performance. I'm sure he's going to get his hand raised here. But, you know, emotions run high and these guys are full of adrenaline. I, I, I think that was more him, himself being a little bit frustrated that, that he couldn't get the finish. Yeah, you may be right there, Jamie. You know, he's got a lot of fans here supporting him, a lot of pressure to impress. But I'm sure, and there we go, a nice show of respect between these two boxers now. And I'm sure the fans of Evan Salehi will be more than impressed with his performance here tonight. Yeah, that... That's what, 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 what I want to see here, Brad. You know, just the, the, the respect. Like you say, I think the, the emotions run high from Slay. He put a good performance on. Couldn't get a finish, was frustrated for himself. I get it because, you know, when you, when you find a box like John O'Anderson, who, who's going to shell up a little bit and, and, and absorb the shots, it's frustrating. I do get it. performance there is Evan Salehi as well he might be and uh, looks like we've got Jackson Salehi up next yep I think we've seen him in the crowd there it's very similar hair to both uh, Evan and myself I'm looking forward to are watching you, are you crowd as well. Are you brother? <laughs> I think I may, I may well be. You might have to get your hands around, my friend. It's a family affair. I'm up for it. <laughs> 